Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to begin with prayer. Yes. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this congregation. We thank you for this technology that allows us to meet. I think it's the right word. Even though we're not in one place. Yes. Lord, I thank you for Pastor Basil and for his request that I speak today. Yes, Lord. And I pray that the words that I bring may be your words. Yes. Yes, Lord. And even if not, that they may do your work. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is a little strange for me. I have never preached <laughs> virtually before. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but here goes. Mm-hmm. Praise God. In Ezekiel, we read, Thus says the Lord to these bones, mm. I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. Yes. Mm. Yes. yes. The Hebrew word for breath is ruach, mm. which also means spirit. Mm. The breath of God is the Holy Spirit. God breathed the Holy Spirit into a valley filled with bones, and they became alive again. Mm. As we look around our nation, as we look around our world, mm. how many people do we see whose lives have become mm. like dry bones. Mm. 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 The quest for money, Model. comfort, mm. power leaves us empty and dried up. Mm. 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 There are some of us who see that emptiness okay. and we turn to non-material things mm. Mm. to fill it. Mm. Mm. But they're still not God. Mm. Mm. That's right. <laughs> I'm thinking here about drug addicts, mm. alcoholics, mm. and all those who struggle with addiction. Mm. Yeah. Today, I'm going to testify to my own journey, oh, my, oh, my, my journey with addiction, mm. and God's redeeming love, oh, even yes. for those of us whose lives have become like dry bones. Yeah. Oh, I do this for two reasons. Mm. The first is that most people who haven't struggled with addiction don't really understand. Mm. Mm. And I would say even True. supposed experts mm. Mm. don't really right. understand it. Mm. Right. Mm. Science has some answers, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but what they know about it cannot explain why they why we do the things we do. Mm. 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 The most successful recovery approach okay. is not scientific. Mm. It's not medical. Come on. It's Come spiritual. On. My, yes. My. yes, sir. It's the 12 steps that originated in Alcoholics Anonymous, Mm. based on the principles of a Christian discipleship program called the Oxford Groups. Mm. Okay. But science doesn't deal in the spiritual. Mm. Where do we go when we need spiritual help? All right. Mm. The church. That's right, brother. Come on. Amen. We say it again. Where do we go for spiritual help? The church. The church. The church. Amen. And yet, how many addicts do we see flocking through our doors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my! Good question. Too often, we don't know how to help. Mm. It is my prayer that by sharing my story, mm-hmm. the church will become better equipped mm. to help those who yes, so are desperately yes, Thank you, Lord. Mm. The second reason I do this today may sound a little bit crazy. Mm. I believe that we as Christians can learn something about devotion Mm -hmm. from addicts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to that. Yes, Mm -hmm. come on. Come on. You gotta come back. Mm -hmm. This is my story. I grew up in a good home, a stable home. Mm -hmm. My parents are not alcoholics. They've been married 62 years. My mom's mom was an alcoholic. My dad's dad might have been. His brother certainly was. There's alcoholism all over our family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my family, my immediate family, was pretty stable. Mm -hmm. I was the problem child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was always in trouble for something. Mm -hmm. I never fit in. I had no social skills. Mm -hmm. There was some abuse as a child at the hands of another relative. There were some traumas in my early childhood, Mm. Mm. but I didn't start using to kill the pain. Mm. I didn't realize I had pain because Mm. I never had not had it. Mm. 
Okay. I started using because I didn't fit in and I wanted to be like everybody else. Okay. I thought if I did what they were doing, I'd be like them. Okay. It didn't work. Say it again, brother. It didn't work. I was still a social outcast. But what it did do was change the way I felt. And that was a revelation to me. I didn't know I could change the way I felt. I started smoking pot at age 15, and I immediately started trying other drugs because I thought, this is wonderful. At 16, I got drunk for the first time. I had unfettered access to alcohol. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming out of a blackout, hanging on to a doorknob because I was too drunk to stand, mm -hmm. grinning like a fool. Mm -hmm. And everybody around me is laughing and dancing and having a, good, having a good time and chasing girls. And I'm just hanging on to that doorknob. Mm -hmm. And I woke up the next morning with a terrible hangover, mm -hmm. splitting headache, my mm -hmm. guts feeling like they're going to explode. Mm -hmm. And my thought was, that was great. When can I do it again? Oh, wow. Wow. Because alcohol did something for me that none of the others had ever done. Mm. They didn't just change the way I felt. It'd be fun. Mm. Mm. It shut it down. I didn't Lord. have to feel. Oh, yes. oh. Jesus. Mm. 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 At age 19, I started using cocaine to manage my alcohol. Wow. wow. At age 20, I started using heroin to manage the cocaine. Oh, wow. <coughs> By 25, I was addicted to alcohol, cocaine, and heroin, mm. and I was miserable. Mm. I would wake up every morning and think, why can't I just die? Mm. Mm. I couldn't see a way out. I couldn't see another way out. And people would tell me, just stop. Mm. So the truth was, I was more miserable when I stopped. Mm. Because... Okay. I had the pain that I carried with me from childhood. Mm. I had the shame of the things I'd done in my addiction. Mm. Mm. And mm. life hurt. Mm. Wow. I didn't know how to live without drugs and alcohol. Wow. Jesus. Mm. Drugs were not just what I did. They became who I was. They mm. became my identity. Mm. Mm. They became what I believed in. Mm -hmm. They became what my life was structured around. Mm -hmm. My purpose and my meaning. Mm -hmm. They became my religion. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drugs became my religion. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you about how that changed. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. I came yes. home from work one day mm -hmm. with my paycheck in my pocket and I had a choice. Pay the rent or buy drugs. Wow. Wow. No choice. I bought drugs. Oh my. I bought enough for what I, thought, what I thought was enough for a week, mm. and in four hours it was gone. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And I sat at my kitchen table and I thought, how oh, did my life come to this? Mm. Mm. And I finally called for help. Praise mm. God. Now, I didn't call my employee assistance program. Mm. I didn't call a 12 step program. Come on, bro. Mm. Mm. I called my dealer. Oh, wow, <laughs> brother, explain that. Okay. Whoa. Who do you, you call the man you trust to fix your problems? Oh, wow. come on. Oh, wow. Gee. And he started telling me about methadone clinics, and I thought, well, that sounds pretty good. But then something happened. There was a man there with him. His name was Ed. And Ed, I knew Ed because we used together. Mm -hmm. He was in his fourth month of methadone withdrawal, mm. and he said, don't do it. He said, come to a 12-step program with oh. me instead. Mm -hmm. mm. And for some reason, I went. Well, geez. Mm. Mm. Praise I God. Mm. Praise God. I didn't understand what they were doing there. Mm. Mm. I thought they were going to teach me how to just say no. Anybody remember that one? Yeah, oh, yes. that's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> and I didn't stay clean. Mm -hmm. I'd get a day or three or even a week and I'd go mm -hmm. right back to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And after about four months, after one more relapse, I woke up one morning and I realized I was condemned to drink and use. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a choice. On my own power, mm -hmm. this was what I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what the alternative was. Mm -hmm. But I went back to that 12-step program 
and I started doing what they told me to do. Praise God. Um, not because I believed it would work, but because right. I didn't know what else to do. Um, That's right. I really expected to get st struck drunk or you wasted mm -hmm. at any moment, mm -hmm. but I was doing what they told me to do. Mm -hmm. And after a month, I was still clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And after six months, I was still clean. My and at a year, I was still clean. Glory. It's now been 34 Glory. years. Glory. 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 I want to tell you, people like me do not become pastors. Mm. 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 We overdose. Huh. Mm. We die in car crashes, mm. like mm. my friends Jeannie and Mike. We die on park benches, like my friend Aaron. Mm. I overdosed five times, mm. and yet I am still here. Mm. Lord. Praise God. Mm. I can see now that that was God working in my life. That's right. Yes. Who kept me alive mm. when I overdosed? Mm. Who drove the car mm. when I was passed out behind the wheel? Bye, bye, bye. And who mm. put that man Ed at my dealer's house while I called for help? Mm. Yes. Wow. Thanks, Lord. But at the time, I couldn't see it. Mm. At the time, mm. I didn't believe. Mm. I started off thinking God had abandoned me, mm. and later on, I decided there couldn't be a God. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. My. Once I started working the twelve-step program, okay, that's a lie. After about a year of working the twelve-step program, mm -hmm. I became willing to. Believe. Pretty mm -hmm. But I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is that switch that you flip where you mm -hmm. suddenly believe something you didn't believe before? Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. I had no experience of God that I could identify. Mm -hmm. And I had sins that I believed were unforgivable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was staying clean, but my life continued to be a series of broken relationships and failed attempts at business. Mm -hmm. My life was a mess. Mm -hmm. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, yes, sir. Yes. and you shall live. Yes. I will. Yes. I will. Mm -hmm. It took 14 years before I finally had an experience mm -hmm. that caused me to believe. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I had, I wanted to believe. Mm -hmm. I had asked myself, if there is a God, what would he want me to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd gone to Sri Lanka as a volunteer for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I'd come back and gotten a degree in theology. Mm -hmm. I studied the Bible. Mm -hmm. Still didn't believe. Huh. I went back to Sri Lanka to work in their peace movement to try to end the war there. Mm -hmm. And in a war zone in 1999, I had an experience of God mm -hmm. listening to the artillery in the dark. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. And I believed. Praise mm -hmm. God. Hmm. Drugs and alcohol had been my religion. Hmm. I needed a new religion to replace them. Hmm. That's a right. true religion. Amen. That's right. Amen. I needed Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I needed not just to believe in Jesus, but to follow Jesus. Hmm. Come yes. on. Say it again, brother, please. I needed not Amen. just to believe in Jesus, Amen. but to follow Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. I needed to devote my life something that mattered. Yes. Glory. Yes, Lord. A better car didn't matter to me. What did a car ever do for me? Mm -hmm. A bigger house? Mm -hmm. To me, the kingdom of God matters. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. During Lent, we reflect on what it means to devote ourselves mm -hmm. to following God in mm -hmm. Christ mm -hmm. and perhaps on the ways in which we fall short. Yes. Do we fall short? No. Yeah. Hello. Paul says, all fall short of the glory yes. of God. That's right. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. I look at my own life and I think, how often? Mm -hmm. I don't really take seriously when Jesus says, do not worry about what you will eat or what you will wear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Surely he doesn't really mean that. <laughs> 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 Those who seek to save their life will lose it. Yeah, that's mm. right. We all fall short. Mm. Yes, they do. Paul, in today's passage, writes, Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Mm. 
What does he mean by that? Yes. Well, it doesn't mean to ignore our bodies. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. It means defeating the desires of the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul actually had great respect for the body. Mm -hmm. For him, the incarnation of Jesus was huge. Jesus became flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he didn't live according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 the final passage, the final verse in today's passage is, If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies. Yes. 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 Also through the spirit that dwells in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's the desires of the mortal body mm -hmm. that are the problem. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. say it again. It's the desires right. of the mortal body that are the problem. Wow. And what are the desires of the body? Okay. Gluttony, lust, comfort, power, mm -hmm. control. Mm -hmm. Who of us can say we're immune to all of these? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not me. That's right. Not me. And if that's the case, who of us can say we are not living in the flesh? This is where I come back to my claim that we can learn something about devotion yes, mm -hmm. from addicts. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5 says, mm -hmm. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, yes. with all your soul, and mm -hmm. with all your strength. Yes. Yes. What does that look like? Mm. All right. An addict will choose their drug, their God, mm. over food, mm. over their job, ah. over their family, ah. their position, their reputation, ah, even their life. My God. Oh my God. That's devotion. <laughs> oh, brother, brother. Do not worry about what you will eat. Mm. Mm. My friend Ed used to say that his grocery shopping meant buying seven packages of ramen for the week. Mm. If he had eaten them all from the previous week. Mm. Mm. Those who seek to save their life will lose it. Mm -hmm. Think about how an addict approaches their God. Mm. And how about this one? Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. That's right. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me mm. is not worthy of me. I think about that and I think, that's impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then I look at how I lived when I was in my addiction. Mm -hmm. That's how I lived. Mm -hmm. Addicts seem to take instructions like these a little more seriously mm -hmm. than perhaps the rest of us do. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think my story illustrates that. Mm -hmm. But we are devoted as addicts to a false god. That's right. Mm -hmm. A god of death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What would our lives look like if we were that devoted to the God of life? Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. What would it look like if we said, I would rather follow my God mm. than eat? Mm. Mm. If I said, I would rather follow my God than have money? Mm. 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 If we said, I would rather follow yeah. my God mm. even if I might die? Mm. Help me, Lord. Mm. Mm. When we realize that addiction is like a religion, mm. maybe we can help addicts mm. better than we do now. Mm. Mm. Right. And maybe there's something we can learn mm. about worship, about discipleship, mm. about devotion mm. from those who struggle with addiction. That's right. yes. The Lord says, mm. I will put my spirit within you and you shall live. Mm. What a gift that is. My, my, my. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Let us use that gift to live in the spirit mm. and not the ways of the world. Thank you. Can you thank you? Amen. 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 Amen.